Alright, it's the start of a new gorgeous day and we are just about to leave the house. Did some work this morning and now we're headed to uh, one of the parks here in the city to get some work done. Ah, to have some fun. And then later today I'm meeting Yasin. And Yasin is someone who's helping with this vlog but has always been behind the camera so far. So I'll see if I can ask him some questions and introduce him to you guys as well. <laughs> time in the park we did slack lining uh, volleyball and now we are headed towards the city center to see a different part of Hamburg. We've been enjoying the afternoon at the one of the, the beach clubs here. To finish off the weekend we're headed to an escape room. Lena is here and Justin has joined me. We're gonna talk a bit more about him and with him later on. Hopefully break out the escape room didn't have any uh, difficulty rating so we'll see how well we do. It's been a bit of a maze getting here the streets are doing renovations but it says team escape right here we're getting ready for Yasin's first escape room ready I think so Yasin how was the escape room it was pretty good I think we were a great team and <laughs> happy that we escaped right quite cool the riddles were very advanced it's nice to see that we got out get out the last minute 59 minutes so less than a minute to spare all right, so Matthias and I used to live together in Berlin when I was still working for Soma, and uh, you were working for Book of Tiger, most of the time. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Play cancel Book of Tiger. Yeah. What are you up to? Tonight or general? No, in general. <laughs> general. During the days. So Dreamers is a global tourism company um, selling many cruise travels. Yeah, so all over the world. We just bought a company um, which has 180 employees. This uh, breadth of uh, different cruises and different offers. What are some product learnings that you've gone through? Like how, how do you present all this choice in a way that it's easy for people to, to find what they want? I think generally you have to understand what they're actually looking for. It's not that it's a fly, which is a, a kind of transactional product. So I know you're flying more, so I love flying. You know? um, but generally I go on a plane, go in, I want to go all the fast. I can't. <laughs> That's from your plan. The cruise is something completely different. So there are people who actually want to look for a good time on board. I mean, they want to have activities, they want to have tours, they want to have cinema, laser tag. Also something social, they want to get to know people. Exactly. Those are actually the people who can actually stay on a ship and never see anything on land. Then you have the other people who are more interested in the landscape and the cities they are visiting. Now, this is maybe where you find out what, what is the tour that's interesting to you. And then you go to the product itself. So what do you want to have? What is it about the food, the activities? Is it about anything else you want to experience? So this is something where I can narrow it down to less and less cruise lines. And then find the real product. And then once you have the product, once you have the ship, you can identify what's actually the category you want to put that person in. We're kind of the Amazon. Of, of cruises, you find everything. Yeah, you find the big math products and you find the long term. So on the one hand side, we do resell all the products which are there. So you can buy with us the same cabin at the same price like every other, other travel agency in the world. But what we also do is what we build our own products. All right, it's time to wrap up our Hamburg trip or at least the second day here. Another gorgeous day, we were out in the park, um, got some work done in the morning. We were out by the waterfront, which is probably the most scenic place in Hamburg or um, at least the most well-known kind of area. And then I met up with Matthias, a long-term friend that I hadn't seen enough in the last few years. And of course, Yasin, who I work with daily, but uh, very rarely see in person. And I think now we're gonna head home, maybe get some more work done, um, upload the footage and think a bit about acquiring companies. I think that's such an interesting topic. I think it's something that will come up for Definity one way or another. Uh, we're looking to grow pretty aggressively over the next few years. Thinking about what's the best way to onboard a lot of people while still keeping culture a good fit, definitely a challenging task. And with that, I'll see you guys tomorrow.